Hey everyone, today we're upgrading the CPU in my own personal PC, which also happens to be the GPU test rig here at Benchy Tests. We're going from Intel to AMD for some lovely 8 core 16 thread goodness. We'll have a look through the current system and go over why we're upgrading right after this intro. So here it is, the system I currently game on and it's also the system I edit every single video you've seen on the channel. We're using an MSI Z270 SLI Plus motherboard and underneath the NZXT Kraken X61 cooler sits an i7-6700K processor from Intel. Now, I've had this for about 4-5 to five years, give or take, a year or so, and ever since I've had it, we've pretty much been running this at 4.7GHz at around 1.36V, give or take a little bit. Performance is fantastic, but we just need a little bit more editing performance. Anyway, moving on, we have 16GB at 2400MHz of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 RAM, but with around 1.5V, which is perfectly fine for 24-7 DDR4 voltage, we managed to get this to overclock to 2800MHz, with timings of CL11131331, which is a hell of a lot better than 2400MHz at CL1416-1636 that this kit was originally sold as. For the boot drive, we're using a 128GB M.2 SSD. It's not a NVMe drive, but it's still plenty fast enough for us. For other storage, we have a 128GB SanDisk SSD, which is covered in dust, which as you might see throughout the rest of this video is a common theme here. But yeah, for other storage, we have a 3TB HDD and another 1TB from a build from years ago, so 4TB in total. The SanDisk SSD, we use that for storing files that we're working on in DaVinci Resolve. So yeah, supported by the Velcro strap, which is particularly important because this GPU sags a hell of a lot, and that is not an understatement, is a custom painted MSI GTX 1080 Armor OC. This cooler was originally white and black, and to be honest, I really like how it turned out. As I said, the motherboard we use is a MSI Z270 SLI Plus. The one we used before this was an Asus ROG Z170 board, which just totally out of the blue stopped working, and had absolutely nothing to do with me accidentally stabbing it with a screwdriver. The Z270 MSI board we replaced it with was actually cheaper than it would have been to buy a direct replacement. Apart from that, we use Noctua AF 140mm fans, which are also covered in dust, which we really need to do something about. Other fan-wise, at the back we have a 140mm Be Quiet fan as an intake to provide extra air to the CPU rad. And if we move around to the front, are two 120mm Be Quiet fans. And as you can see, we don't have the bottom slot populated, but to be honest there's really no point as the hard drive and power supply cables means that there's nowhere for the airflow to go anyway. We've also got Gamora and Starlord. Hi. Power supply wise, and this is going to weird some of you out, we have an EVGA Supernova G2 1000W PSU. This is overkill for a system like this, and even for what we're planning to put in it. But it was bought when I had been planning a Crossfire R9290 setup, where both GPUs would have built 750 to 800 watts combined, which looking back is still cutting it a bit close with a 1000 watt supply. So now that we've got the current system specs out of the way, let's go on to the parts we're actually going to be putting in this new system. Now, we're going from the 6700K to the Ryzen 7 2700, which brings us on to why we're upgrading in the first place, because a lot of you are going to be asking, why on earth are you replacing a 6700K with a 2700? Isn't the 6700K better in games? And yeah, you'd be right, it is better in games. But um, the reason we've gone for 2700 is because with the 6700K, we're actually getting poor performance in editing. And, well, I say poor performance, relatively speaking, because the performance is actually pretty decent. The part we're having problems with is the sort of scrubbing through the timeline, or performance when scrubbing through the timeline, which can get pretty janky at times. And when watching the footage back before actually rendering the video, it's often quite so sort of stuttery and jumpy, and it's a real pain to watch. Even turning the resolution 
or the playback resolution down to half or even lower, this doesn't really fix the problem at all. So yeah, we definitely needed more CPU grunt, which the 8 cores, 16 threads, the 3700 has is definitely going to give us. Motherboard wise, specifically the Gaming Max Plus. The Gaming Max Plus? No, yeah, the Gaming Plus Max from MSI. Now, as I said, this is a B450 board, which is going to be perfect for a 2700. It has one of the best VRMs on a B450 board that you can get, as far as I know anyway. So it's going to be fantastic for overclocking as well. I wasn't particularly impressed with how it looked in the pictures when I was buying it, but I um, haven't opened it up and actually taken a look at it before the video. It's fantastic. Um, I absolutely love how it looks, so it's going to be perfect for the system. I managed to pick up a third party AM4 bracket for the cooler, which hopefully it will actually properly fit to the B450 motherboard and allow us to keep using the X61 cooler we've got. Now that we've talked about the current system, the parts we're going to be using to upgrade it, and why we're even upgrading in the first place. It's time to round out today's video. Thank you for watching the video, and hopefully you also look forward to seeing just how it performs in DaVinci Resolve, which is the editing software we use, and some games as well, compared to the 6700K that's currently in the system. Um, but before we end out the video, before we end the video, sorry, I'd like to give special shout outs to Patreon supporters Tazfi Dodge and Shadow in the Void for helping to make all of my videos possible. And you can also contribute to uh, and you can also and you can also support me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash benchy tests or through Kofi at Kofi.com forward slash benchy tests. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you next time. I hate not having a script. Ha, here we go, let's post in. Much postage is occurring.